welcome to the fourth and final video of the Gender Financing Projects video tutorial series, brought to you by Friends of Publish What You Fund and Publish What You Fund. In this video, we'll show you how to track gender financing with IATI data, including project results. If you are new to this series, please make sure to watch the previous videos first to get a foundation of what gender financing is and how we can track it. This video is for beginners who are interested in using IATI data to track various development stakeholders' gender financing, including project results. In this video, we'll answer the following questions. What is IATI? What are the strengths and limitations of IATI data? Where can you find IATI data? And finally, how can you use IATI data to track gender financing, including project results? To answer this question, we'll show you how to use IATI's development portal, known as dportal. What is IATI? IATI stands for the International Aid Transparency Initiative. It was established around 2008 by various stakeholders in the development community and is a voluntary multi-stakeholder initiative to share project, financial, and results data about organizations and their individual development and humanitarian activities. Improving transparency of these activities can lead to better coordination among relevant stakeholders, improved allocation decisions, increased accountability, and ultimately, better development outcomes. IATI is also a global data standard. The IATI standard is a set of rules and guidance about what data organizations should publish and in what format. The IATI standard acts as a framework and XML format and is intended to be used by all relevant development actors, including the private sector and civil society organizations, to promote sharing of useful information on their development and humanitarian funding. For more details on the types of information published to IATI, see the IATI About page and code lists linked in the video description below. IATI has many unique strengths. Its openness. IATI data can be published and used for free by any organization, including non-OCD DAC donors. The amount of data. In 2018, there were between 1 and 2 million published development activities. Today, over 1,200 organizations have published activities to IATI. It's continuously updated. Organizations can update their activities anytime, and many do on a quarterly or monthly basis. It's comparable and available in one place, starting with the IATI registry. The standardized format allows you to compare different organizations' data, and IATI has integrated OECD DAC codes, which means its data can be compared with OECD DAC data. Publishing organizations can also connect datasets with the potential to indicate clear development assistance delivery chains. It allows for the linking of documents, such as strategies, project documents, and evaluations. Today, almost half a million activities link to at least one project document. Finally, it uniquely contains results data and allows organizations to link to other data systems, such as national aid and information management systems, donors' own databases, and UNOCHA. IATI data has two main limitations. Accessibility. While IATI data is made available through dPortal, the new IATI Query Builder, and the data portals of major donors, these often only offer a subset of the total dataset. As a result, large-scale analysis and access of some data can be challenging. You also need significant technical skills to access or publish IATI data and to create your own visualizations from it. Second, quality varies. Just like with OECD DAC data, the quality of IATI data depends on organizations' accurate and consistent self-reporting. As with the OECD gender equality data, it's difficult to verify whether organizations have correctly applied the gender equality policy marker. Where can you find IATI data? Many organizations publish their organizational and activity datasets in IATI's format on their own websites. For example, the UK government's DevTracker website shows detailed information on all development and humanitarian projects funded by the UK government published to the IATI standard. Another example is the USAID Foreign Aid Explorer. This online tool includes all organizations' activity data reported to the IATI standard and provides visualizations of the entire development cooperation landscape through a country lens. Organizations link their data to the IATI registry. The registry acts as an online catalog and index of all of the data published to the IATI standard. You can search through this data in the IATI data store, find guidance on how to use IATI data, 
and register as a publisher and share useful information about your own organization and development activities. We recommend you download and install the IATI Decipher tool to visualize organizational file data with the IATI registry. Finally, IATI's development portal, also known as dportal, makes IATI data more user-friendly. It has a search function that allows you to look for development assistance data by country, sector, and policy area, particular publishing organizations, and more. It also provides useful visualizations. How can you use IATI data to track gender financing and its results? You can use IATI data in many ways to track gender financing. Let's say you want to learn more about the biggest gender equality project in Guatemala in 2018. First, go to deepportal.org. On the home page, filter for recipient country by searching for Guatemala. You can see many activities already pop up. Then for year range, select 2018. To filter for gender equality projects, we select more filters and under the policy marker filter, we search for gender equality. Here you'll see the same levels of significance as the OECD DAC gender equality policy marker. Select gender equality principal objective and gender equality significant objective. Remember, not all organizations apply this marker, so some activities will be excluded. Now click Explore Results. On the next page, we see how many gender equality projects from 2018 are still active, how many have ended, and how many IATI organizations publish them. Underneath, you'll see visualizations showing you where the funding for these projects comes from, which sectors the projects fall into, a heat map of all of the activities with precise locations, the projects that are ending soon, and which ones have already ended. We're interested in the largest gender equality project, no matter whether this is active or closed, so we click on Total Projects. Now we get an overview of all relevant gender equality projects, plus how much of their commitments have already been dispersed. Now you can look through this list to find the largest project, or you can download the entire list as a CSV. Once you've downloaded it, open it as an Excel. Just like in our previous videos, we can click on data and filter the headers. Now we can organize the total spend column from largest to smallest. Now we see that the largest gender equality project in Guatemala received over 100 million USD dollars in funding from Global Affairs Canada. We can copy the project link here, go back to our browser and paste it. This brings us straight to the project page. Here you'll see many details about the project. In the project data section, we can see that the project is still being implemented and supposed to be finished in 2024, which organizations are involved and how, that it is marked to have gender equality as a significant objective, how many countries and sectors this project is active in and how much of the funding goes to each, and there's also a financial overview showing the different commitments and disbursements for this project and a results section showing the different expected outcomes and which results it has achieved so far. Lastly, we see the contact details of the reporting agency for this project. So you can contact them to ask any questions about the information shown on this page. Now, when we look back at the linked project documents, we see there's no project evaluation document. Some organizations publish them while an activity is still ongoing, some after the activity has ended, and some simply don't link them. You can check if more information is available on the reporting organization's own website or by using the provided contact details. We hope this video was helpful in showing you how you can track gender financing with IADI data using IADI's Deep Portal. To learn more about IADI data, please check out the resources linked below. You can read about our latest study to track gender financing by clicking on the link in the description. You can also stay up to date by following us on Twitter or using the hashtag GenderAidData. This was the final video in our video tutorial series to track gender financing. Click below to watch any of our previous videos in this series, including our overview video and tutorials 1 and 2, which show you how you can track gender financing using different OECD DAC datasets. Finally, if this series was helpful to you, please share the videos with anyone else who you think might benefit from watching them. As always, thanks for watching.